Roger Mogul here, Impact Fitness. You know what time it is. It's time to go ahead and give you guys the preview video for the upcoming week's workout. I want to give you a couple tips on how I would approach this video to get the most out of your workout. I would watch it once before I come the first time, sometime Sunday evening or Monday before you come to your first session, just to get an idea of what's going on in here. Of course, you're not going to remember everything. We're going to be here to make sure you remember what's going on, but it'll give you a head start. And then after you do the workout, uh, you can get a lot out of this if you went home right away, watch the video again, because you're going to have these movements fresh in your mind, exactly how you did it, how you could improve upon it for the next time. Okay, that's my little tip. And as always, attack each 30-second round with the enthusiasm that mankind has never seen before. You got to really push. You can't just stay in the same comfort uh, level each time you come in here. So each week, you're trying to kick your last week's performance butt. You're trying to kick your own butt because you're only in competition with your former self. Okay, let's get right to it. First uh, station is our lo uh, loved sliders. So this week we're going to do some upper body moves. I'm going to show you the most difficult way, then the modification right after, okay? We're going to get in a push-up position with our hands on the sliders. You're going to slide out with one arm, keeping one hand back, and come right back. Keeping that elbow tight, and you're just pulling that arm back just like that. Again, the modification for beginners, if that's too difficult for you, is to go to your knees. See how my elbow is staying tight to my body? The cool thing about the, the whole sliders that we have designed is your heel of your hand is in the hole so you can really pull back and use those back muscles and core muscles when you're doing the sliders with our new and improved sliders that you can get from us for only $24.95. All right, the second exercise, we're going to stay on our hands and you're going to do a push-up, but it's going to be real close together. Elbows in tight, come up, little slide and back. Down slow, pop up, slide and back, okay? Now again, do it from your knees. See how tight the elbows are to my body? Power up, slide out and back. Keep those hips locked in, okay? Uh, try not to have your hips up here doing any of these movements. You're not gonna feel it in your core. You're not gonna get much out of your arms doing, doing this, okay? All right, you're gonna alternate between those two, obviously, for eight rounds. Get your minute break, come over here to the kettlebell station. What you're going to do is get two kettlebells this week. You're going to have your feet really close together, not totally together, just a few inches apart. Kettlebells on each side, you're going to power up and lean back at the top. Push your hips forward, right back down. Just a little bit of a lower back hip stretch in the movement, okay? A lot of quads, exaggerated things back. Touch the ground, power up, okay? All right, you're gonna do all eight of that same exercise. Then you're gonna to come to the ropes and the sliders. This week, we're gonna get into a lunge and we're gonna play the whole how low can you go game. How low can you stay in the lunge? And then you're gonna have your arms straight in front of you, keep the ropes on the ground. Side to side action. Stay in that low lunge. Head up, shoulders back. You don't want to be leaned over like this doing this, okay? And each time you do it, you'll just switch which leg you have forward. Or you can switch at the halfway point when you hear the siren. Either way. Over here, pretty simple. We've done them before. Pretty easy one to grasp. You're going to do good old mountain climbers. Knees straight in. You could do it from your forearms if you want to, but you're not going to get as much clearance. You got to get your hips up high, so it's way better if you can to do it on your hands. Okay? Good old mountain climbers. Core tight. Do it as fast as you can, as intensely as you can. Alternate between these two each time. All right, on the suspension trainers, you're going to do reverse grip, underhand grip. Closer grip than normal. It's about a little less than shoulder width on the grip. Walk your feet in. You want your feet close together. You're going to drop down. Your butt almost hits the ground. And as you come up, elbows in tight. So pull straight in. 
right towards your, right toward your chest, elbows in tight. See where my hips are? I'm finishing in a straight line from my heel to my shoulder. So, bam, bam, okay? Just get that chest out at the top. Elbows in tight, okay? All right. Over here, I'm gonna give you a couple options on how to do this one. I like to have myself close to the wall so I can actually make contact with the wall. And I'm gonna bend down, hit the wall, hit the wall, hit the wall. Squatting down, cross my body, straight up, hitting the wall, okay? If that's hard for you to hold on to the wall, just do it out here in the air. Bring it past your knee, it's all one motion. Use your legs and swing it like you're gonna throw it, okay? And each round, you'll just switch which way you're doing it. Bam. Power, power it through fast, okay? Don't try to do it slow. Try to use your legs and your hips. Power it up, core, shoulders, lower back, glute, hamstring, everything's getting worked, okay? All right, last station is stress relief station, okay? Whatever problems you're having in your life, take it out on the bag. What we're gonna do is kick it as hard as we can this week. So it's doing a roundhouse kick where you turn your hip over. You should be hitting it with the instep of your foot and you should be hitting into the bag, not at the back. So it's not this, that's the front kick, okay? A roundhouse kick goes sideways with your shin and your instep hitting, make an impact with the back, okay? So all you're gonna do is get here, as hard as you can. Your buddy's going to be on this side, even it out, kicking it on the other side. All right, that's it. Get ready, come in with a good attitude, attack this workout like your life depended on it, and you're going to get results. See you next time. We got a follow along video coming up probably midweek, and we're going to uh, also look out, we're going to run a really good boot camp special for Valentine's Day. See you next time.